Now, listen to this. That top 10 hit from 1956 was a big song for a street corner group called Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. But it wasn't written by a professional songwriter. Let me tell you the story. In the 50s, it was common for amateur vocal groups to gather outside to do their singing. Well, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers, growing up in Harlem, got in the habit of singing on the same street corner every day. And they'd sing the same songs every day. Well, one of the tenants in the building on that corner got fed up with hearing the same songs all the time. Now, this man had been receiving love poems from a girlfriend of his, so he took one of those poems down to the group and told them to try singing the words of the poem for a while. Well, they did. And that song became part of their repertoire. And after Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers were discovered and put under contract, it became the hit song, Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Far out, but true. And a remake of that song is in our countdown. Up two notches to number 12, here's Diana Ross with her version of Why Do Fools Fall in Love? One of the five female soloists in our countdown this week, that's Diana Ross at number 12, Why Do Fools Fall in Love? I'm Dave Roberts, sitting in for Casey Kasem on American Top 40. And the countdown rolls on. The hits, the hits, the hits from coast to coast.